In this lesson, we are going to see how to handle linear equations when we've got more than one bracket. So for these questions, we'll have two brackets. So it's pretty, it's, a, it's identical to what we do when there's only one bracket. So step one, we're just going to go get rid of all the brackets. And the way that we do that is by multiplying this minus six into the bracket. And so that's going to become minus six n and then minus six times minus seven becomes positive. Look out for that. 42 and then over here we have minus 12 n and then this negative 12 is now going to be multiplied into that bracket and so that's going to become minus 48 and then plus because remember a negative multiplied with a negative is a positive so it's going to become a plus 24 n. Now we are at that all too familiar place where we, we see that we can, we've got variables and we've got numbers. And so you just need to put all the variables together and all the numbers together. So the three variables that I can see would be those three over there. And so I'm going to choose to put all of them on the right hand side. So that means that this negative 6n is going to have to move over. Then the numbers, which would be the 42 and the 48, or the negative 48, they're gonna have to go to the left-hand side. So that means that this negative 48 is gonna move over to the left. And so let's see, so we'll start off on the left-hand side. So on the left-hand side, we already have a 42, because that 42, there's nothing happening to that one. And then this negative 48, that's gonna move over to the left-hand side now, but it will become positive 48, because remember, when it moves over the equal sign, the sign changes. Then on the right-hand side, we already have a negative 12n, so we'll leave that like that, and we have a positive 24n, which is already over there, and then we're going to take this negative 6n, and we're going to move that over to the right-hand side, so that will end up becoming positive 6n, because it was negative, but now it's going to end up becoming positive. Now it's simply a case of combining, so 42 plus 48 is 90. And then on the right hand side, we just combine these all together. So minus 12 plus 24 is 12, plus 6 is 18. And then to get the n by itself, we divide by 18. And then you also have to do the same on the other side. And so you end up with 90 divided by 18, which is 5. Here in this example, we can see that we've got these brackets. And so our first step is just to get rid of the brackets. And the way that we do that is by multiplying the numbers into the bracket. Okay, so we'll do that one. And then we're going to also have to do this minus 9. So that's going to give us 30n minus 27, and then minus 9, and then minus 63n. So you've got to be very careful with your a negative multiplied with a negative, or a negative multiplied with a positive. You've got to always look out for that. And then on the right hand side, everything's just pretty standard. Right now, we need to decide if we're going to put all the variables on the right or the left. So here are the variables. They are the ones with the letters. And so I'm going to put them on the right. But you can definitely keep them on the left. It doesn't matter. So I'm going to have to move these two over to the right-hand side. Well, let's actually show it like that. And then all of the numbers, so your numbers would be this one and this one, and this one, and this one. They're going to have to all be on the left-hand side. So these two, they're already on the left-hand side, so we'll leave them alone. But we'll have to move the 11 over, and the plus 1 would also have to move over. So moving into the next step now, what do we have on the left-hand side already? Well, the minus 27 and the minus 9, they are already there, so we'll just put them in like that. And then, and oh, sorry, we need to still show what's coming over. So minus 27, minus 9. So this 11 is going to come over, and it will become minus 11, because it's currently a positive over there. And then this positive 1 would go over, and it would end up becoming a negative 1. And then on the right-hand side, we're going to have a minus 10n, which is already there, minus 11n, which is already over there. And then this 30n is going to be going over, so it'll become negative 30n, and then this negative 63 will go over and end up becoming positive 63. Now we can simply combine all of these numbers together. So that's going to give on the left-hand side negative 48, and then on the right-hand side, 
you're going to say minus 10, minus 11, minus 30, plus 63, and that's going to give you 12n. Then to get n by itself, you're just going to have to divide by 12 so that these two can cancel. Okay, but I'll leave it like that so you can see. And then on this side, you also divide by that same number. And so that's going to give us n on the right-hand side. And then 48 divided by 12 is 4, but then there's a negative. So this will be negative 4.